offering. ESPN has done a tremendous job, you know, promoting the fight. Um, you know, it's it's the, the, this is the one. This is the big one for me, um, and I'm, I'm I'm happy with the way that Top Rank has has had did the promotion. But yeah, um, I definitely feel like he should have fought me four years ago. Well, you know, I would have at least got my shot four years ago. Um, but you know, Allah is a perfect planner, and um, now the time has finally come. It's uh, gonna be worse than it would have been four years ago. Because uh, I understand it's a last chance to be undisputed. That's why it's every train, every day, push me, push me, and push me. And now, four more days. Man, everything has... I knew that one day all of this would come, but uh, alhamdulillah that it, you know, it, it came faster than, than what, what I thought it would, but uh, I worked hard for it. I dedicated, you know, since I've been dedicated since I was seven years old, put my all into it. And, um, you know, it prepared me for these big moments. All, everything up to this point, fighting in Tijuana, going to Australia, doing all these things, to uh, it all prepared me for this point. And uh, I'm blessed to be here. I'm happy to be here. And uh, I'm having fun. Loma, he called you an amateur, and you haven't fought anyone like him. He's going to walk all over you. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> You guys were in the tunnel just here yesterday. MGM Grand, our cameras were following you, and you, you called him dirty a little bit. He said at breaks, he, he doesn't break. He likes to throw punches. You guys okay over there? So the, the chatter's been happening this week. Like, it, it's starting. Yeah, I mean, it's fight time, you know. Um, I just called a spade a spade. I know what he's preparing for, but at the end of the day, we... We're, we're we're prepared for whatever he brings to the table, and uh, it won't matter. Whatever, what, whatever, if you want to make it a dirty fight, we got answers. Hey, Igus, Igus, we're only a little bit mad that you wouldn't have given us the opportunity that we're giving you right now. We're just only a little bit mad. Four years ago? Anytime. Would you have ever given us the opportunity that we're giving you guys right now? Look, four years ago, Lomachenko came in already as an established boxer. He didn't have a time in his career to go and to fight the young fighters. Four years ago, you're going to agree with me. David was uh, not a name, big name in the boxing. David didn't have any titles. Lomachenko was always uh, chasing uh, champions, the big names. So you told me it would never happen. You told me it would never happen. And, I, and we're, we believe in God. We believe in Allah. And we know that Allah knows best. You said it would never happen, and I said, we'll, we'll see. And you were right at that point, because I never was thinking uh, David was going to be an undisputed champion, and he is. And, uh, you know, it's a more respect to him. And uh, have anybody that's what we had. Have anybody else ever run your phone, like we called your phone to fight Lomachenko? Is there any, anyone else raising their hand to fight this great, young, great fighter right here? First of all, you know better than me, we are in the boxing business. We have a different promoters. We have a different networks. And you guys were with a matchroom. You were in the zone. We were with a top rank. We were in the ESPN. Even Lomachenko had a sign agreement with ESPN exclusivity. We couldn't go to the zone no matter what. So it is what it is. is but any, right now we're here. Is there right. any other top fighter that has, has rung your phone to fight Vasil Lomachenko? No. No, that's the answer. No. So to the people, this is a tough guy, Lomachenko, three division world champion, two Olympic medals. My son, 24, 24 years old, has been chasing him because he's a great fighter. Let's make it, let's make that understood. No one has chased Lomachenko the way he is because he's a great fighter and Devin is putting himself to the test and giving the Ukraine people uh, something to hope for and a champion as Lomachenko. I'll tell you one thing, everybody was running from Lomachenko. It was uh, hard to get somebody in the ring with Lomachenko. And you are what chasing, exactly, yes. yes. So uh, Saturday night, I think, is going to be a very, very nice and a good fight for the fans. There's danger over here. Saturday night, is this the most dangerous opponent that you think you've ever faced? Maybe, maybe. I can answer after Saturday night, then I, then I check this one. Of course, right now it's the uh, most important uh, moment in the boxing right now. I mean, every fight, you know, up, up to date is, you know, your, your toughest test because, you know, it, it, it's only more at stake, you know, every fight, you know, we want to 
win every fight. So um yeah, on, on paper this is my my toughest test. Uh, but I look to to you know make it an easy night on Saturday night and uh, as easy as possible and uh, come out victorious. You wanted this one. You've been calling for it. Here we are. Yeah, um, I've been calling for it for like I said four years, but uh, the time is is finally come. Um, you know, I, I take my hat off to him for even you know giving me a shot after after four years. Um, you know, I respect everything that he's you know, did his decision to, you know, stay and fight for his country and all that. Um, that gave me the shot and it aligned for me to get my shot to go to Australia. So it was only right that uh, that I give him the shot as well, um, like a true champion should. And uh, I look to put on a great fight for the fans on Saturday night. Then you put a goal in your life, you need to take it. If, if you can do this from first time, you can try to do this from second time and again and again. But you need to take your goal, your dream. This is what I try to do, uh, and it's mean if I take it, I'd be really very, very happy. And thanks for a uh, God, thanks for uh, to my promoter, my top rank company, uh, my manager, my family, my father, and all people who support us. But I have a question for Mr. M. Sir, uh, where will you rank the winner of this fight and uh, in terms of the pound for pound or even as a future great, as an all-time great? Bill, that is a trap question <laughs> because I got so many young fighters out there that if I ever mentioned anything about pound for pound, they'd be on my ass in 30 minutes. So, Bill, you got to let me off the hook. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir.